streets right now. Those who've been injured as rioting youth started throwing rocks at me. There's no just laws, no law at all. Historic St. John's Church set under fire. God. Is this a war going on here? Now? We're really talking about our future. What type of country do we want to be? Hello, and welcome to Holding the Line, America's Fight for Religious Freedom. You gotta love small towns, tight-knit, close, the true definition of community. And the police of these small towns are, you know, for the most part, the by-the-book kind of law officers, tough, no-nonsense. You know, we, we love people, and they really help in the spirit of compassion. Adrian Garcia was exactly that. As the chief of police for Childress, Texas, a hour northwest of Dallas, the kind of a Mayberry and everything. He was in law enforcement for over 20 years. And I asked him to give us a taste of what Childress is like. Childress is a great town. Everybody knows everybody. Obviously, y'all went to the donut store this morning and everybody knew who I was. And hopefully they had some good things to say about me. The people in Childress here, they're, they're God-fearing. They, they love their families. Uh, they support each and every person in town. Um, there's there's really not any uh, a click um, other, other than just, just everybody enjoying everybody. He was right. We had been to the local donut shop, and it was good. And the locals there were talking about this or that and how to solve the world's problems and make the world a better place. And they were happy to talk about their police chief, who stood up to atheists by putting the In God We Trust on all the children's police department vehicles. And here's how Adrian got the idea for those decals. Well, you know, I actually I saw a, uh, a sheriff in, in uh, North Dakota. Actually, it was on Facebook. He had put that on his on his units, and I thought, what a what a great message that is. Not only a Christian message, but also you know our nation's motto. And I, I didn't I didn't put it on there at that time, but I kind of watched and, and saw what kind of. Uh, stuff was going around him why he why he did that and I wish I could remember the sheriff's name but I can't anyway I uh, um, the, the the sheriff's deputy in Houston uh, was murdered at a gas station and um, I think that was my answer right there to, to it's more of a, a rally cry than anything and, and I just felt that it was time that I uh, made a statement and and uh, try to rally all law enforcement together and everybody loved it all the officers here um, um, there was no, uh, no kind of animosity whatsoever. They, as a matter of fact, they wanted it on there. Uh, and I didn't ask for permission to put it on through our council or, or our city manager. I just did it. So then it happened. Adrian got a letter from the Freedom From Religion Foundation in Madison, Wisconsin. They told them to stop putting these decals on their police vehicles, imposing their Christian views on people, blah, blah, blah. You know the rest. Here's how Adrian responded. All right, this is the letter from Freedom From Religion that they sent me um, after uh, posting on our Facebook page the In God We Trust decals on our patrol units. Inappropriate and unconstitutional religious endorsement. I think really that's all I read uh, before I actually threw it down and responded with my letter. It says, Dear Chief Garcia, I am writing on behalf of Freedom From Religion Foundation, FFRF, to urge <clears throat> you to remove In God We Trust from Childress Police Department vehicles. We were contacted by a concerned Childress resident. FFR is a national nonprofit organization, blah, 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 blah. What they did pretty much is they demanded that I take that uh, in God we trust off of our patrol units and um, and I responded back with a with a letter I told him to go fly a kite um, that uh, I'll show you the letter but it was it was a very unprofessional letter I'll be the first one to admit it but uh, I just I did not like the fact that uh, first of all somebody tell me that I can't be a a Christian and I can't be an American. How, how dare they do that? You know, how dare they do that? The community responded in overwhelming support. You could drive through town and you, you'll see just 
every other vehicle have either go fly a kite or in God we trust on their vehicles. The FFRF positioned themselves as the voice of the true America by telling Adrian, the town of Childress, to remove the decals and the community responded by putting more decals on their own vehicles. I asked how an atheist group in Madison, Wisconsin heard about a small town in Texas. The Freedom From Religion uh, People Foundation, they, uh, they, they found out that I had put that on my patrol units uh, because I posted it on our uh, social media, Facebook, via Facebook page. You know, I'm just a small town chief and, and uh, wanting to rally some guys together and, and just tell them that, you know, although we're being murdered and, and, and we're out there being uh, <coughs> slandered and, and everything else, it's, 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 uh, it's okay. You know, the big man upstairs got, has our back. And um, what better thing to say than not only that, but our, nationals, you know, our nation's motto, in God we trust. What better thing to say? I can't think of a better thing to say. I just don't like bullies. You're not going to bully me. It's not going to happen. It could be from anywhere. You know, uh, anybody could try to tell me to do something and push their way. It, it's not going to happen with me. I, I don't stand for bullies or I wouldn't be wearing this badge. The overwhelming response, not only just with the community, but uh, also um, with law enforcement. I've had uh, the <clears throat> then God we trust on on uh, that's going on the patrol cars nationwide, not just Texas, is is un unreal. I've had <clears throat> I've had chiefs, I've had sheriffs call me, uh, you know, praising me and, and saying, because of you, we're going to put this on on our units. Um, I'm, Big, small, uh, big departments, small departments, they've, they've called me and it's gone like wildfire. You can actually look it up on the internet and see how many, you know, uh, see how many police units and police stations have actually put that on there since then. When something like this hits the news, all the crazies come out and attack, but also the good guys. Adrian heard from one of the best First Amendment legal defense teams around. And they are right there in Texas, First Liberty. They contacted me and, and said, hey, we, we, uh, we, we've heard what you've done. We've heard the, the, the backlash and, and, uh, from these uh, freedom from religion people, and, and we want to represent you. And, uh, of course, I've, I was all, you know, let's go, let's do this. And um, great people. Uh, that's the kind of people we need in America right there you know, and um, they're, they're standing up for what's right. So um, can't, say enough, can't say enough good things about that organization. You know, that, that letter that I wrote in response to Freedom From Religion, within a matter of seven days, it had 16 million views. So um, it, it, it was just crazy. And majority of it was good. You know, majority of it was I'm gonna say about 90% of it was was good, and the 10% were the you know the freedom from religion type of people. So, no legal action or recourse followed from the Freedom from Religion Foundation. It was just a threat, and FFRF had really nothing to build a case on. But we need more Adrian Garcia standing up for what's right. Adrian has since retired as the police chief, serving his community and as God faithfully the entire time. In the meantime, the fight continues, and you need to be informed. So follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and like this video to see more content coming your way. You can also read my book, Holding the Line, America's Fight for Religious Freedom, available on Amazon. Thanks for joining me, and keep holding the line.